Johnson. Joining us now with reaction is Curtis Ellis, current policy director with America First Policies and former senior policy advisor to President Trump. Curtis, always great to have you. Uh, Curtis, for months, Joe Biden didn't say anything about the violence going on in America. He really focused on COVID. Uh, they didn't even talk about a DNC, yet all of a sudden this weekend, this past weekend on Monday, we're hearing him talk about violence. We're even hearing him uh, switch his tune about opening schools. What's his strategy behind changing his his strategy? It seems that Joe Biden's strategy is I'll take both positions on everything. That way, no one can accuse me of not fulfilling my promise, because I'll promise everything and go uh, whichever way is expedient at the moment. Look, he went further than not talking about violence. He and his Democratic colleagues, for the last three months uh, during this entire series of protests and riots, have been telling us there is no violence that Portland was filled with peaceful protesters, uh, that all these other cities, that there was, these were largely peaceful protests, as you see buildings burning in the background. Uh, they've done a Baghdad bob on, on us, uh, telling us there is no violence. And then suddenly, now there is violence, but it's all Trump's fault. So they've really done, uh, I don't know if you can go further than 180 degrees and be in an opposite direction, but that's what they've done. It, it's really quite yeah. astounding to watch. Yeah, and you have to wonder all of a sudden why, you know, the polls are getting narrower in some states. And so he's even seeming to be like a step behind President Trump when President went, Trump went to Wisconsin. Then the day later, he went to Wisconsin. Um, but I want to get uh, to another segment. While on the campaign trail, President uh, Trump took a swipe at Nancy Pelosi over her controversial salon visit. Listen. I watched Nancy Pelosi. You must wear your mask. You have to wear your mask. And we're going to keep every beauty salon closed in California and all over the country. And then I see a picture. I say, uh, Nancy Pelosi, well, where's the mask? She said, I was set up. I was set up by the salon owner. I was set up. I said, tell me she didn't say that, please. <laughs> so I just put out that if she was set up, then she shouldn't be leading the House of Representatives. Yeah, the president went on to say on suggested the salon owner lead the house, but the business owner responded saying in part that I never expected all of this. But the house I'm focused on right now is the house with two little girls under 10 with social distance learning. I appreciate the statement. Curtis, we have about 20 seconds. Nancy Pelosi saying, look, you know, she was set up, but what would have been a better strategy for her to handle this? Uh, a better strategy would have been to say, look, I discovered that it's safe for me to go into a salon alone. Every other citizen of San Francisco should be able to go into a salon alone and have their hair done. That way she would win back all the suburban women who are now wondering just what the heck is going on here? Why can't I get my hair done, but Queen Nancy can? Yeah, sometimes you got to just own it and, uh, and not blame others. Well, Curtis Ellis, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. And we'll be